Hey guys, Johnny or Sergeant Rich, thanks for joining me. So today is my first day of freedom. The first day I'm done with this COVID quarantine. If you haven't gotten that stuff, ugh, horrible. Um, felt like garbage, but we're feeling better now. Um, I'm gonna go check out a collection of some vintage toys, but I got a drop massive box. Look at this thing. So Chad, your box is on the way. Um, a, a good customer of ours just bought a ton of toys, so I'm mailing that out for him. UPS is a lot cheaper than the post office. It was like $20 cheaper to ship this via UPS than it would be to go through the post office. So anyways, let me go drop this off at the post office, or at the uh, UPS store here, and then I'm gonna go uh, hit the road and check out this collection. We're off the beaten path for this collection, gentlemen, ladies. Out in the middle of nowhere to check out some vintage toys. Been cooped up for a while, so I don't mind. Get out, see some sights and uh, enjoy some nice dirt road driving. Can't beat it, I used to live on a dirt road. All right guys, so here's the collection we bought, um, or we haven't bought it yet, but here's the collection we're checking out anyways. Um, so you got some Masters Universe, it's not too much, right? We just have the gray skull, yeah. and um, we have the Spidor in the box, which is pretty cool. And then there's only what, three figures? Yeah. So we got a couple guys in here. Unfortunately, He-Man lost his epic battle with Skeletor. And we might have these uh, Imperial guys here. Now, this is all yours from when you were a kid. Yeah. This is the, the old the childhood collection here. So. So we have four Ninja Turtles. These are all um, complete. Yep. Very first run that they made. First run, complete guys. The only issue was you said what uh, Michelangelo had a broken nunchuck. But that was like really common. They always they always broke for some reason. Probably because just the real thin plastic. Yes. And then you got some Black Star. You don't have any of the heroes. It's funny. Like all the ones you have are the bad guys. No, um, Aren't they all? I uh, know you got the. the good guy. Or, oh, this guy, right? Yeah. yeah. The guy the, there we go. The, the Imperial. What's his name? I forget his name. This is one of those lines I never really got into. I never played with him as a kid. Like I had one of these. I don't know where I got it from when I was a kid. But I. I I probably got it from one of my friends or something, but I never. Well, it was my friends were too cheap to buy me any good stuff. Yeah, so, so you got Black Star. Walmart <laughs> and, and Kmart cheap. Stuff. Well, not, the, not even Walmart. It's all Kmart cheap stuff. So. Hey, they're still cool looking. I like the, the monsters. Then we have some Joes here. Um, now you said these aren't complete. Some of them are. Most of them are. Oh, are they okay? But the ones with like the little ones down here. This one's only missing one piece. This one's complete. Now the rest, they were pretty much. Yeah. No, he's complete. Okay. You got the got a couple more Joe things down in here. Yeah. So, what was your favorite toy line when you were a kid, Joe's or? Yeah, Joe's were my favorite. My parents never bought them for me. All this is what, this what is I just earned, a... mowing lawns and shoveling sidewalks and. Driving. Is this open or are these uh, packs or just uh, they're loose cards? Um. Well, it's uh, that's the stuff I was telling you about. Where's all the Oh, because those aren't even actually the cards then. Okay. So that's all the paperwork and everything? Yeah. That's I mean, cool. there's some miscellaneous, like, card, card backs. And... And... Hey, do you have the yeah, you have the file cards too, guys. Here, yeah, so that's cool. There's a lot of them with the file cards. The ones that don't have file cards are ones I traded yeah. and got from other people. So Those heathen kids that never saved their stuff, right? <laughs> yeah. All mine were actually kept in a little index box. Yeah. <laughs> that's the way that's what they were meant to do right now you said this ice saber was damaged what was what was wrong with that the the, the missile rack on it yeah oh, okay uh, it seems like anytime i get the dang thing out it falls and breaks and breaks <laughs> another piece off even today i got it out it fell i'm like oh god now what broke off <laughs> <laughs> luckily nothing broke off this time all the pieces yeah are this thing break. normally will break it looks like yeah, that's it broken too so and yeah, these things get so fragile um just like this one, the canopy had snapped. Yeah. And my dad came up with this ingenious way of fixing it. Okay. Uh, he actually used metal. Huh. Never had any problems after that. I wasn't even the one that broke it. My cousin did. <laughs> and you have some more toys over here. And this is mainly what you said. You have some Matchbox Hot Wheels type stuff. Are these all Hot Wheels or they're, they're Matchbox too? Wheels. So, how many are there? There's... There's 12 complete collections. Okay. Of five. So those are neat. And these are, when are these from? Like the 90s? Yeah, most of those are from the 90s, 2000s. Yeah. So you don't collect anything anymore? You're pretty much... Yeah. I... You're going you're gonna to save this. Play with that thing still, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. 
So I think yeah. I let my kids play with that for a long period. Yeah, I think every kid had one of those. Yeah, and this I, is just uh, miscellaneous. Even after I had children, my parents didn't give me all this stuff until my children were pretty much too old for it. <laughs> so you saved all these. These are from when you were a kid, huh? Uh huh. That's crazy. Just a bunch of randomness in here. Yes. Bart man. I can't believe The Simpsons is still on the air. It's been on for what, 30, 30 years, something like that. The early 90s. Yeah. It's crazy how long, because it started, I went to Tracy Ullman Those show. and a couple of toys that came from Turkey. These things? Yeah. Huh. There are a couple of toys from Turkey. My dad had gotten me. Was your dad in the military? No, uh, my dad was a truck driver, but his boss... Wait, your dad drove trucks to Turkey? <laughs> no, no my, my dad's boss actually brought those back from one of his visits overseas. Those are all the different little box toys. Okay, so you have like the little uh, dark, dark wing duck. Rescue Rangers and just, just kind of miscellaneous bagging, stuff. A bagging stampers in there. Yeah. And then this is just what I have, like a little kids' toys, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. There's Mr. T in this bag. Oh, okay. Now, the neat thing about this Mr. T is he actually has most of his accessories still. Really? He's got the. Well, there's Mr. T. But he's got his M16, which I had. Fashioned a uh, oh, you got a little sling, sling out of a, of a <laughs> sandwich bread, uh, tie, and then he's got a toolbox with some tools cool. in it still. Oh, whoops! Oh, never mind. That's from the other Mr. T I had. A little Mr. T chain. Yeah. Cool. All right. We're gonna look through some of this stuff. Yeah, All right, yeah, guys, yeah. so we made the deal. Um, we got everything back here. Um, we're going to go through some of it in a little more detail and show you what we got. You guys have obviously seen some of it, but uh, we'll go through some of these little boxes and, and take a look because there was a bunch of kind of randomness in there. So let's get this stuff inside, and uh, we'll go through it. So we looked at these Black Star guys. These are actually the um, the laser light ones, and I doubt the flints in here still work, but they would spark, basically. But as you can see, I'm going to have my work cut out for me cleaning these guys up. Um, but we have the little goblins. Um, we have the weapons, weapons rack. I think one of the weapons was broken. So we had this one that was, the staff was broken. But overall, these are in pretty decent shape. I mean, they do need a little cleaning. And as he said, um, well loved and played with. He said he never, didn't get a lot of toys as a kid. So the ones he had, he did play with. Um, which, obviously, that's what they were meant for. So I'm glad he's got some love. But we still have the, uh, the cape on him. But again, like I said, I doubt these things are going to, yeah. We got no flint action in there, so... But those are really cool. I don't come across those very often. I, I don't find the Black Star very much. I don't know if they just weren't as popular back in the day or they didn't survive. Uh, here's the couple Motu. Again, nothing super exciting with Motu. We have the one complete Clawful. Um, actually, no, he's not even complete because he's missing his back armor. But I probably have an extra one around here. And then we have the Battle Armor Skeletor. These are just basically beater figures. I mean, the waists don't uh, pivot. And obviously, those are broken a lot um and then this he-man arm is totally busted he's not even repairable but we could salvage the legs if we need to in the uh, arm and then of course broken uh, havoc staff and like always a gnawed on sword these things are always chewed on a couple comics and um we do have he-man sword in there too didn't see that before and he has the manual of the road ripper but he didn't have the road ripper but i do have plenty of road rippers so i can put that with one of them and I'm going through that stuff kind of fast. I know we did look through it when you had it laid out, but there was a couple of boxes of other randomness that uh, I didn't go through all there. It was just kind of like just random nostalgic stuff he said he had. So we have one of the Imperial uh, saber tooth Beasts here. I always liked these Imperial Monsters, these big rubber monsters. I just think they're cool. So I was glad to see that. And then we do have Ninja Turtles. And I think he said they're all complete. Um, and these things, if you guys remember, have all the little teeny accessories, all the little weapons. And it doesn't look like they're 100% complete because the actual weapon racks aren't in there, but um, they are here. And these are the soft heads, uh, which were the first versions. I guess to save on money, they made them with hollow heads. That's my understanding anyways. And we do have the card backs, which is nice. You know, Leonardo here. Let's see if these are all the soft head versions. And how you can tell you could squeeze them. If they're hollow, they're the soft head versions, which are the, the first run. Yeah, Wrath. Rafael. Who is your favorite Ninja Turtle? Or who is your favorite Ninja Turtle? You can have a favorite Ninja Turtle now. 
So yeah, you can see how you can see his head squeezes. Um, but yeah, they're in pretty nice shape. Uh, not too bad. They have the belts and all that stuff. A lot of times those would break. So those guys are in good shape. I'll take them out of these uh, sandwich bags and I'll put them in the uh, polypropylene ones that don't leach into them or whatever. And then uh, we have, last but not least, Donatello. And these are actually pretty clean. He said he got these towards, uh, you know, the end of his toy playing years. So he didn't really play with them too often. So we got Donatello there. No, uh, no villains, no uh, bad guys. So I don't know if he made these guys fight against the uh, Black Star guys or what. And then, let's see. Yep, so there's the original run. You had the four turtles, Splinter, April, and then uh, the bad guys here, Rocksteady, Bebop, Shredder, and the Foot Soldier. 427 back in the day. But uh, those are all the originals, which is cool. So here's another box of randomness. This is one that was kind of back in the on that back table. I didn't really go through it all. Well, it looks like it was more like kids' toys. So, well, baby toys, I guess I should say. So we have this International Harvester from Ertl here, and I guess he said this works. Like you put stuff in there and you turn this, and it would uh, go up a little corkscrew and come down the the chute there. But a little International Harvester. We have a horse. What brand is this thing? Just a little horse. It looks like his ears broken. But if you guys remember that uh, house I went to with uh, Chris, he had all those toy horses his sister had, I guess. So this is just going to go in that tote of horses. I have not done anything with a horse tote yet. Um, a lot of them had their hair cut. I'll probably just put those in the shop for a couple bucks each. And then we have trash can here and i think this hooks onto the oh it's actually broken unfortunately so that's broken off but you'd squeeze that and um this would open up and oscar is in there little trash can if you're into oscar the grouch if you're into repairing toys you know we have that what is this thing something i'm going to keep away from my children and again normally these baby toys they don't really sell um but when I buy a collection, if they're in there, they're in there. And I think it's because people remembered playing with the action figures. They were older when they had these. When you had this, you were like two. You were one. I, I don't remember anything from when I was one years old. So I don't have that same nostalgic feeling of playing with this toy as I do playing with like a Ninja Turtle or a Star Wars figure, you know? And then we have... Um, this is one of those projector things. I don't know if it works. Again, a lot of times I'll buy collections and I'll have a bunch of this older stuff. And it's kind of just tossed in, so it's not really, you know, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. We have a Viewmaster here. Let me see if it works. You guys aren't going to be able to see, but... Ooh, Star Trek and Muppets. Well, this one's pretty neat. It's got, um... And there's no way that this thing will pick it up, I don't think. Yeah, that ain't going to work. That'd be pretty cool if I could get it. It looks like it's almost like a Saturday morning cartoon commercials. And we do have a couple of the, um... Viewmasters here. We got the Wuzzles. We got Bambi. And Winnie the Pooh covered in Play Doh. I don't know what that is. Gross. We got that. I know these baby toys aren't super exciting. Um, another little old Fisher Price toy. Again, these things don't have a ton of value from my experience just because it doesn't have that same nostalgia factor. If people remember playing with them and wanting to buy those again um, as grown ups. I mean, I guess maybe if they want to buy them for their kids so their kids can play with the same stuff they did. I could see that, but like I said, unless it's uh, like a Little People's and it's, you know, in the box and all that stuff, they don't tend to have a ton of value uh, in my experience. Now, I know there's probably stuff out there that, you know, I'm not familiar with that does have value, but in my general experience, um, that kind of stuff just it doesn't doesn't move. Um, okay, so this is one that I kind of go through. I didn't really go through it real well there. It's just a bunch of little... Um, I think cereal prizes and stuff like that. And I like going through these. It's always kind of like a little mystery box of what are we going to find? So these were uh, gummy bears. I still have that song. I could sing the song right now in my head. Gummy bears bouncing here and there and everywhere. I, I mean, they were marketing geniuses back there then with these songs. I mean, you just it's in your head. You know, if you heard that stuff, it's still in your head. It's insane. What is this? These are... Is that, nah, that's not gummy bears. What is that? Tailspin, right? So that was, um, I don't know what cereal that would have come with. We got Baloo. I don't remember Tailspin's theme song. 
I'd say if you remember it, go ahead and sing it in the comments, but I don't think that's how YouTube works yet. Maybe one day you'll be able to leave voice comments, which would be pretty neat. And we got, looks like Darkwing Duck. My son actually uh, found the prize in the cereal yesterday. There was some Pokemon cards in his uh, Lucky Charms. So we got Darkwing Duck. That's his niece, I think. I forget her name. And then, um, uh, what was his name? I can't remember. I cannot remember his name. Ace Duck? I, I don't remember. And then we have... Um, Chippendale Rescue Rangers, I guess. What else do we have here? We have just some randomness. This is from Kellogg's. It's a spoon. Looks like maybe a lightsaber spoon or something. So that's probably from the newer Star Wars, from like the, uh, uh, the I guess episode one through three. What is this thing? Oh, it's like a little top or something. Um, that is Aladdin. Just kind of a bunch of random stuff. Here's a Smurf. That looks like a newer one, like from when the Smurf movie came out. Um, that is, yeah, that's 2011, so that's not super old. And we have, like, a Garfield bicycle reflectors. Uh, what is this? Some kind of horn, maybe? I'm not blowing on that to find out. No offense, sir, but, uh, I don't know how many decades worth of germs are on there. I remember getting these, these little, um, dinosaur erasers. These are neat. I remember, I remember having these when I was a kid. Who had these? Did you have these when you were a kid? Yes, you did. Don't lie. All of us had those. Ooh, boglins. That's cool. I don't know what that is. Just like some kind of rat, random boglin widget. I don't know what that was supposed to be. But um, boglins are always cool. So they remade boglins. They're actually coming out here um, in the next couple months. The actual original creator of them, um, they did a Kickstarter, and he's making them. Um, Boglins again, and actually, that's uh, we will be getting those in stock once they come in. I've talked to the, the company, and uh, we're going to be a wholesaler or a distributor for them. Not a distributor. I'm getting them from the distributor to be a reseller of those. We have some, let's see, Ankylosaurus, Brontosaurus, Stegosaurus markers. Again, this is just kind of like randomness in this bin here. This kind of stuff's always fun to look through. Just, it's always the, the smallest thing you remember having. It, you know, you you remember your toys, you remember your Star Wars and all that stuff. But then, uh, you know, Ecto Cooler right there, right? That's a uh, Little Ghostbuster stencil. That's neat. What's this from? I do not see a brand on there. I'm not sure what that went to. Probably something you'd look at it and it would uh maybe 3D or something. Some papers. Fun zone. Got the X-ray viewer. Hold up your hand to the light and look through the viewer. Let's see. Whoa, it doesn't work. All right. Um, here's some more cereal prizes. And again, it's it's nice to have like some of this stuff because one, if everything I sell in the shops hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, you're not gonna have a lot of customers. You sell some you know cheaper stuff like this, and it brings back the same memories, you know, or different memories. I mean, who remembers pulling this out of a cereal box or something? I don't, but someone might have. 1991. It's a toucan, Sam. Like beak right there. And the island of Topsy Turvy. This is like one of those boxes. I always talk about them. Like I'll, I'll have like a collection and I'll have a box, just a box of wonders that kids saved when they were younger, you know, like a little treasure chest. Uh, but it's always cool to go through there and see what kids saved. Box of randomness. Dun, 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 dun. All righty, what is this? Um, it's, who is that? I'm not, I'm not familiar with that cartoon. That's like a cow. Kind of looks like a Ren and Stimpy-esque type thing. It's not Ren and Stimpy, but... Um, just some randomness here. What is this? Okay, that's interesting. Um, season's greetings. Camel smokers deserve something special for the holidays, so here's a way of saying thanks. Staying smooth with Camel. Um, okay, I've never bought a collection that has had a special package of Christmas cigarettes in it, so I don't know if that was a mail away. I remember when I was a kid, they would be um, all those Marlboro Miles, and I'd collect them and mail away for stuff. I mean, I didn't smoke, but you know, you'd find packs on the ground, and you know, you had family members that smoked and everything, so 
that's interesting. I don't know if that was a, I guess it was a mail away because it has an address on it, an address label. So I don't know if uh, old camel cigarettes are worth doing anything with. Anyway, so here's like some Marlboro Miles glasses. Like this is the kind of goofy stuff that I'd mail away for. I had a dartboard um, and stuff like that. So I guess uh, this young man did the same thing when he was a kid. So this is just a bunch of cigarette paraphernalia. I don't know if anyone collects that kind of stuff. Oh, this is cool. So, um, who remembers phone cards? Back in the day, we had these things called payphones, and you put change in them, or you'd use a phone card. Um, so this would be like a rechargeable card. You'd type the number in, and you could make your phone call. Ooh, what do we got here? What do we got here? All right, so we have a cassette tape here, Coca-Cola Volume 3. We have Tina Turner, the best, in excess, not all time, damn Yankees, don't tread on me. Mark Cohen, One Soldier, Bruce Hornsby, um, and Branford Marshalls, and DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. When is that from? 92. I don't know if that still works. I don't even know if I have a cassette player somewhere, but if I do, I'll be rocking to that in the shop. You guys can guarantee when you come in, you'll be hearing that. What is this? All right, we have a mystery Walmart bag here, guys. And it has... Well, that's neat. It's newer because it's got a .com on it, but uh, let's see here. We have... This Star Wars, um, it looks like it's in Japanese or something. T-shirt. That's pretty cool. So, set that aside here. Does not look like my size. And here's just some random thing. I think he said his dad was uh, a truck driver. And that his dad's friend was in Turkey and brought back some toys from Turkey. So, apparently this is a toy from Turkey. That is kind of crazy looking. It's neat looking, but... I'm going to get you! <laughs> Alright, I'll stop. No, I won't. I won't stop. I'm having too much fun, so... Alright, here's another one I think he said was from Turkey, so let's see what else his dad's friend brought him. Um, Definitely looks like a little touristy piece, uh, but it is, I think it's broken. I don't know if that was monkeys or what that's supposed to be. Um, yeah, just a... Uh, some interesting little, like, almost like touristy kind of um, things there that you'd get if you were a tourist in Turkey. I suppose I'll get that back in the box here later. What do we have here? Um, RoboForce. So we have a couple of RoboForce manuals. I, I know he didn't have any RoboForce toys, but again, sometimes you get the manuals or the boxes and in another collection you'll find the actual thing and put them together and Pity the fool who didn't keep their RoboForce. You guys saw him. So actually, he called me about this toolbox. I guess this goes to one of his um, Tonka trucks that he saved. So I'm going to mail that back to him because he wanted that back. So I'll set that aside. Not quite sure what this Mr. T-Chain went to. That was in there. It must have been a bigger figure than that. him, right? I don't know. All right. And then we have just a skateboard. I don't know what that goes to. Um, just a little glider. Like I said, these things are uh, just a bunch of random stuff that he saved as a kid. We got Snarf. Uh, pencil holder, I guess. Or a pencil hugger. He's still got a little pencil in there. Just a little dinosaur. This looks like a... Uh, maybe one of those, yeah, one of those slap hands or something. You, no, it's just because it's some kind of... I don't know what that is. It looks like some kind of gelatin ball. Like maybe one of those things you throw at the wall and it would kind of crawl down the wall. I got a little teeny koosh ball. Um, just a little plastic spaceman there. And is that Humpty Dumpty? Mayor McEgg? I don't I don't know what that's supposed to be. Doesn't have a let's see, uh, uh it's two thousand one top, so I'm not sure what that is. So not quite positive. If you guys know what that egg thing is, let me know. Alright, what else do we have in here? Some more cassette tapes. What is this? Um, music from the motion picture Wayne's World. Party on, Garth. Oh, here's cool. You're an idiot. Ren and Stimpy soundtrack. Of course, Nickelodeon. It's orange. I used to love watching Nickelodeon when I was a kid. I remember watching um, You Can't Do That on Television and all that stuff. Just got a bunch of little... A bunch of these. Probably about... 
Oh, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of fuzz things. So I'm going to have a gumball machine in the shop, and I'm going to put like all these little random doodads in it inside of the capsule so you can uh, have a chance at winning some randomness. All right, let's get 7-Up uh, Breakout Session Volume 1. What music was on here? Mariah, uh, Noise Therapy, Cyr Cyrus, this is all newer, well, not newer, jeez, it's almost 20 years old. Seether, Must, and uh, Amy? Don't know. Uh, what is this? Uncover the Rock. Just some kind of a... I don't know if this was a promotion from some company or what. Just random stuff in here, guys. Just a little bit of, you know, stuff like this. It's like, I never had one of these, but if you had this in the kid, you saw it, you're like, oh man, I had that. Looks like it was from Time Magazine, maybe. Um, I just remember having it. It's, it's the smallest stuff that always does the, uh, the nostalgic stuff, man. You just forget you had it, and then all of a sudden, boom. I remember it. Bazooka Joe. Basketball can be a thrill. Hockey takes a lot of skill. Football players work really hard and baseball players pose for cards. All the games are tons of fun, but nothing beats my bubble gum. I can't believe he saved all these. I bet you I could do something with this. Like do some kind of like artwork on the wall or something neat just to kind of have those there so you can look at them. Here's another mystery box. Right, what's in this mail away something or another? Okay. So this young man apparently uh, liked to smoke camels. I don't know. These are all camel um, matches, yeah. I have a bunch of matches I found on the 80s house, like older ones. I'll throw this there and just maybe do a, a lot. Yeah, definitely uh, he was into the, the camels. Remember Joe Cool? You can't have a mascot like that anymore. It's crazy. I don't know if this stuff has collector value or if anyone's interested in this kind of stuff. Just as a, you know, a nostalgic throwback to how things were. What is this? Two flavors in every pack. Flipside candy. It's empty, but that's pretty neat. I don't remember that stuff. Got some stickers here, it looks like. Then we have the pins. I always love going through like all this stuff. Just the, like I said, I mean, I, I probably sound like a broken record, but you know, you just kind of sometimes it's something little like that that you remember having. Like who remembers like that? Those book pins. Book it. That one's ooh changey, fanciness. Oh, so we were not solely a camel smoker. Apparently, we have some. Uh, okay, that must have been uh, from Marlboro. This other one here. There's another one. Just another one of those. And last but not least, what's in... What is this? These are tiny, teeny, tiny balls. Itty bitty balls. I don't know what those go to. And then we have a little Bartman pen and some kind of wild looking pencils here. Alright, so let's check out these Joes. Um, now, I haven't gone through these all to make sure they're all complete. He said a lot of them were. Um, obviously, I have to go through and double check. Uh, I know this is a uh, hardball's weapon. It's got that big old missile launcher thing. Um, but again, like, crotch is broken on this guy. So there are issues with these. But again, we have the weapons and the file cards. And if I have ones in better condition, then he's losing all his pieces. And, uh, you know, it's going with a nicer, nicer shaped figure. So this is a newer one. This is like a Cobra Swamp Rat. Yeah, try to. There we go. So this one, I think these ones are from the early 2000s, weren't they? I don't know if you can even fix the legs on those guys. It doesn't look like it. I mean, he's just kind of a little loose and floppy there. We have crazy legs. And what I'll do is, like I said, I take these out of these these bags, um, and he's doesn't have any weapons or anything with them. But see, like when their knees are like that, there's not really much you can do with that. That's just kind of just kind of how he is. So he's a little loose, but again, still in nice shape. I mean, he's not a uh, you know mint condition, but again, these were played with and well loved. So we got heavy duty here. Now this is an easy fix. If you have the uh, the rubber band breaks, that's that's. I mean, I could fix him. He 
he'd be easy to fix. And he looks like he has a lot of his accessories. And again, I'll have to go double check and see and make sure. And once I know they're complete, I mark everything, price them, and uh, get those ready to go. So we have Grunt here. This is one of the early 90s ones, I believe. Uh, seems like he's pretty tight, tight joints. Has his weapons and his um, card in there. We have a Cobra Bat. So I think these were like when they did the, um, uh, what was it, like those Ecto, or not Ecto, uh, Eco Warriors and stuff. All these like bright neon ones, I think. Like in the early 90s. So we have him. We have Stalker here. It's amazing how many like different variations of all these different figures there are. So he's pretty tight too. So he's in he's in nice shape. Looks like he has probably probably has all his weapons in there. And we have Mercer. And again, he looks like he just needs a new rubber band, um, but it looks like he has most of his pieces in there. And his file card looks good. Free fall. Missing his leg or missing his band, but again, easy fix. I'll do a video on how I fix those. I know there's tons of them out there, but I'll, uh, you guys can laugh at me as I try. And the rubber band flings across the room. So we got Alpine there. And Undertow. He's got his hose, a little tube there. And looks like he has most of his accessories. He's got his fish, he's got his flippers. And Destro here, he's just Destro. Doesn't look like he has anything. His sword is not in there. So. And Cobra Commander. Again, he's been uh, chopped in half. But uh, should be able to fix him pretty easily. It looks like he has a bunch of paint wear on him, but. And not, he doesn't have his accessories or anything. And he's loosey goosey. Whoa, look at that. He's loose. Um, it's just one of the, a pack. I forget which guy those, there's a line that had those ones that made the noise uh, with a little battery pack, the sound effect ones. Um, I guess this went with him. I mean, that, I, we carried some rucksacks in the core, dude, but no, nah, we never had anything that, I, nothing quite that large. I mean, that, could you imagine having to go on like a 20 mile hump with that thing? Good God. No, thank you. We had the Alice packs when I was in, and that was bad enough. This is just random accessories, some stands. Um, I think he goes with the, um, oh, that, where is it? I know it was in here, the gyrocopter thing, or the, the propeller. You pull the thing and, uh, the ripcord. You got Croc Master, but he's just, uh, all lonely. Nothing with him, no accessories. Um, who else do we have in here? We got Roadblock, who's totally trashed. His arm is broken off. I mean, something like that. You just need to find another beater, um, and replace the arm if the pieces are in better shape, so... I mean, there's really no fixing that. He's just for scrap parts. I'm going to be doing some Frankensteining. We got Downtown. Mortar Man there. Looks like he has all his accessories, or, or many of his accessories, anyways. And there wasn't that many Joes. I mean, he had uh, I mean, he's got Firefly, and his band is broken. Wasn't a ton of Joes, but there was enough. Um, major altitude. So. Got him. And hopefully, um, like I said, guys, there's some accessories in that bag. I'll have to match it up and see if maybe some of that stuff goes with uh, some of the other ones. We got Gung Ho here. The new Gung Ho that they did with the new G.I. Joes that just came out the Classified does not have the EGA on it. It just has an eagle. So I guess Gung-Ho is no longer a Marine. And that is smaller than on the original one. I mean, that original one, boom! 
I do not have any Marine Corps tattoos, but if I was going to get one, which I'm not, I would get the giant gung-ho tattoo on my chest. Probably not. We have dial tone here, another one of the ones that uh, has the noise backpack, the sound effects backpack. And Pathfinder. His legs kind of popped off, but again, it looks like he has his weapon in there. And his file card, which is nice. We have Salvo. The Rite of Might. Looks like Mr. Clean. But he has uh, his accessories in there. Looks like he has all the mines and whatnot. And what do we have here? Top side. There's his weapon. There's top side right there. Old Navy. Just kidding, it's just Navy. And I think that's all of them. Nope, we got one more uh, loose figure here. We got a uh, repeater. So he's got pretty tight joints, which is nice. And um, I don't think he's got any accessories in there, though. So hopefully that one bag with random stuff, there's nothing in there. Um, all right guys so yeah, there you have it we got the joes we got some of the miscellaneous stuff we have all the smoking tobacco stuff whatever um we'll take it but uh like i said guys if you guys have a collection you're looking to sell let us know we're always willing to uh check out a collection that you have and if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button like thumbs up and uh comment we'll catch you next time